I'm here at the Browseware uh, booth with Zoo. That's how we say it, right? The Zoo. And I'm here with uh, Reinhardt and Martin, and these guys are the founders of Vizu, and we're going to talk a bit about uh, what Vizu does, where they came from, and uh, what they're all about. And uh, let's get started. Okay. And uh, I was asking uh, them why does the leather look so shiny, but apparently, uh, yeah, it's very the cool. actual swatch is super shiny. It's gold leather. How do you know? It's going with the. Uh, do you guys have rose gold like Apple? Apples? No. Okay, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> All right, um, I'll let you guys talk uh, about it. What you guys do? So tell me a bit about what you guys do and how you started, and uh, we'll go from there. Martin, right now, who's I, gonna start? I, I, I can start. Yeah. So um, the start of it was uh, back in the times when we worked for Adidas. Uh, this was in uh, 2013, and, and even before that, we started to do uh, research about um, material capturing and okay. processing. And uh, we developed some concepts and then we decided to step out um, the company and found our own company to make a product from that technology. Right. Yeah, awesome. that's, that's the start. And it's a hard, did you guys start on the hardware or software or both together at the same time? I think you cannot really um, separate both. Okay. So we did both. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. And uh, I'm going to go to the product itself. So that's the actual product now, yeah, right? That's yeah, the box. Right. What's, uh, do, you have a, do you have a name for it? X-Tex. That's X-Tex. X-Tex. Okay. X-Tex. Um, yeah, so, so uh, maybe I can talk a little bit of, about the functionality. So what we do is we simply place the fabric material or leather material inside the device, just like this, easy as that. And the device captures up to nine images of the fabric. And these images uh, are all under different lighting situations. Like okay. we have a backlight unit, we have directional lights. And from these different data, from this data, we can then um, deviate all the visual properties like the structure, the color, the transparency, and the reflectance of the material. Okay. Um, these are also uh, already automatically loaded inside our software. Okay. The x -Tech software then can uh, further process the data we get from the device. So we can make it, uh, we have a lot of functionality to make it uh, seamlessly repeatable. For instance, this is, this is that one, that's the original scan. And you can already see it looks horrible because um, even if it's like um, seamless, you will always see like a repeat with these structures if you repeat it right. on a large surface. And actually the only way to, um, to tackle that problem is to either get a larger piece or what we do is we, um, we randomly repeat it, uh, this, small, this small piece of fabric on a larger surface. Okay. That's creating a, a bigger tile which will repeat less often on your final surface. And I'm assuming that that's automated, but you also have manual ways of doing this as well? That, that's fully automated. That's, like, fully that's, automated. that's, awesome. that's all that's fully great. automated. And it does that on all the channel images, yes, right? Yes, I don't yes. have to go and... Like, it's, it's just that you see it just on one right, uh, image as a preview, but it does it on all channels automatically. Yeah. And I know... And I know uh, you know, Martin Reinhardt have, uh, have continuously kind of talked about their products to other design companies. Um, so you use the company, these kinds right? of things. I'm from the company. So that's the, that's looking the, the final result way better of that uh, synthesized texture. Yeah. And uh, you could now apply it on a much larger surface right. than before, no right? Tiling. Without tiling. Uh, it's all seamless. Yeah, without visible repeat. Yeah. Okay. And so uh, tell me a bit more about your pricing models. Like, what, how do you guys offer your services? Uh, yeah, we, we, we offer that device, uh, the scanner, the actual scanner, we offer it for uh, rent. Okay. Um, you can start from three months rental, um, which is about 1,500 euro and, uh, per month. Okay. Or you can purchase it, of course. Okay. And um, then we have a separate license model for the software. Okay. So you could, um, you could um, uh, license the software for 750 euro per year. Yeah. And uh, the nice thing about it is that you can even use the software without the hardware. So you could, if you have some some pre-scan textures or images from the web or images from a, from a flatbed scanner, you can also you can also use that and make uh, textures and seamless textures uh, automated. And uh, you you also have the last one, which is you basically can send your own swatches to the zoo and have them. That's the service part of it, right? right. So we also I offer services. I like that the best because one, it doesn't, it, as, a, as an artist or a freelancer, you don't have to commit to buying something and I can go see results before kind of getting into the system, which I think is really cool. That's, That's awesome. true. 
Uh, cool. Well, that's great. Thanks for talking to us, and uh, we'll get we'll stay in touch. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. And